In today's video, we're gonna test this rear mirror dash cam. This is the Wallbox G900, and we're gonna see if this one is the best rear mirror dash cam. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna test it, and we're gonna see if this one is good. Okay, this is the camera. The brand is Wolfbox. The model is G900, right there. And this is the camera. <laughs> it looks great. It looks good quality. And this is the, the hooks to put the straps. It comes with uh, four straps, two long ones and two short ones, depending on your mirror. Also, you can replace this one for your mirror, because in here it has a screws and and they sell adapters so you can remove this one and put this as your permanent uh, rear mirror okay you only have to measure the 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 space between each screw from here to here and from here to here so i'm gonna put the link for the adapter if you want to get the adapter for this one if you if your side mirror doesn't have a uh, sensors or anything you can replace it and it will look more sleek because if this one is thinner as you can see okay but uh, it, we're gonna test this one so it comes with the camera the mirror camera dash cam the straps for too long too short the this one to clean it the manual trim tool this is very helpful for the installation the gps this is the gps antenna the power cable Okay, with the, the cigarette lighter connection, the rear camera, that's great. This one is made of metal, <laughs> that's great. <laughs> so this one, you can put it on the outside under your license plate, or you can put it inside because this one comes with a bracket to put it inside, okay? So here comes with the bracket, four screws, two screws to put it under the camera in here okay and two screws to hold them in here and comes with that double-sided tape and comes with this tape if you don't want to use the bracket you can put just this one and put it on the rear outside the rear on the trunk okay and comes with the extra screws and also this one came with the hard wiring kit but this one is extra okay if you wanna get this one, you wanna you if you don't wanna use this, you can use the hard wiring kit and connect it to the fuse. It comes with the fuses too, in here, so it's great. All right, okay, so this does everything. Okay, I'm showing you here because it's hard to see it over there. So, so you can have an idea. Remember this one, the last one, the GPS, the one on the middle, the rear camera, and the last, the first one on the left side is the power connection. Okay, that goes to the cigarette lighter. Okay, so now, now let me put it on the on the mirror. Okay, before we install the rear camera, this one, I already placed the double-sided tape on the back of the camera, this one. And I already put, the, put it together, the bracket. Okay, you have to put two screws, one here and the other one there. And this one, this one you can adjust it like this or like that, okay? And this one, I can put it like this and put it on the rear window. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the rear window okay and this one has a red wire you can put this one to that reverse light so every time you put the the handle to the reverse light this one 
it will turn on okay so now let's install this one okay it's time to test the camera let's turn on the vehicle nice <laughs> okay it says SD card SD card need format okay so let's go to the settings let's go right here format SD card format SD card at once confirm Let's do it. Boom, it's ready. Okay, let's start with the resolution. You can change the resolution. 4K, the front camera, this one, and 2.5K, the rear camera. I like it like that. Or you can change it to 2K, the front, and 2K, the rear. So for me, 4K, the, rear, the front one is better. That's good. A split, ah, the time for each uh, video, one minute, three minutes, or five minutes. One minute is fine. Video, encode it. Okay, for that one, I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna move it. Record the sound, you can turn it on and off, the sound. G sensor, off. This one, if you're in an accident, it will record, uh, it will lock the video. So let's leave it, let's leave it low okay flicker you can put it 50 hertz or 60 hertz so it's in 60 i'm gonna leave it like that for now a screensaver mode so a screensaver mode is off okay i'm gonna leave it off okay the tone the tone of the every time you click this you can put it on and off i'm gonna leave it on for now the volume like that maybe in the middle that's good now let's put it like that so you can hear it the screen brightness you can go very low or super bright let's leave it bright for now now it's too bright let's leave it like this like that is good display mode you can put the rear the front picture in picture so both of them okay so I'm gonna leave the rear only so I can use it as a rear mirror the adjustment okay mirror no we don't want a mirror let's see let's go back yes like that is good Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's see, it has more settings. Time, okay. Display the time, yeah, it's fine. Display the time. 24 hours, 12 hour, okay. Daylight time saving. Yes, let's put it on, of course. Time, year, month, and day. Let's leave it like in the United States, month, day and year okay that's good reverse mode full screen okay full screen this one it has a red cable you have to connect this one when you put the reverse it will turn on fatigue reminder when you've been driving for a long time it will record will remember uh, none we don't want that a speed unit miles per hour yes we're in the United States but you can change it to kilometers too okay time zone in this one we are in I think it's six okay GPS information okay that's nice GPS display on, yeah, turn it on. Language, English, so you can change it, Spanish, Italian, and a lot of language, okay? 
format we already did the format for the reset to factory and about the camera Wolfbox G900 so that's everything that's it let's see how can we see the videos okay ah to see the video is right here you can see front album the lock videos photos rear album the lock uh, rear videos and the rear photo you can go let's let's see front okay. uh, it's right the there the rear okay. right there uh, to see the video. okay so <laughs> I can hear myself you can take pictures here okay this one you can stop recording okay now we know how to change the settings for the camera now let's see the videos let's see the resolution the quality of the front camera this one and the rear camera let's see that next and let's see how good they are let's do that next okay now it's time to see the resolution this one is the debut for the front camera this is in 4k resolution and as you can see it looks very nice you can see the plates very good like this one sometimes when the car is not in the front it's uh, gonna get a little bit blurry but if the car is right on the front when you're in an accident usually the car is in the front or the rear but you can see here the, the plates you can read it very easily that's very good now it's time to see the debut for the rear camera the resolution is a little bit less but this is 2k still high quality better than other cameras you can see you can read very clearly the license plate if somebody hits you on the back like a rear, rear, rear end the your vehicle you can record this one super easy and very clear <laughs> okay so no complaints for this one very good amazing the resolution i like it okay now it's time to see this one this one is very important the night view this is the front camera <laughs> still amazing the resolution very good you can read everything this one has night vision because as you can see it looks very clear on the front you can read the license plate super clear the glare of the uh, the headlights it will block a little bit the view but as soon as the car moves you can read it a little bit better okay but this one is very common with all the cameras because the license plates has a reflective material and it will reflect the light but you can still can see the license plate like in this uh, example it's very good you can see it i like it. the front one amazing okay now it's time to see the rear view camera on the night view okay as you can see it's still very good <laughs> amazing you can see the license plate right there very good this resolution is better because usually the rear camera is 1080p and this one is 2k so you can get better even if it's a little bit blurry with the 2k resolution uh, you can you get better uh, image of the license plate okay as you can see here amazing i like it nice resolution it looks great amazing <laughs> i approve it <laughs> it's great okay guys this is the rear mirror dash cam <laughs> it's amazing the resolution 4k on the front 2.5k to the rear is great on the day super amazing at night is great too so this is a great option for a dash cam because you can put it in the mirror and it doesn't block the view because the other dash cam you have to put it on the center it might block a little bit of the view but this one amazing i like it i'm gonna put the link for this camera in the description of the video down below so you have a question put in the comments okay this one you don't need no app you you have the dash cam uh, in the mirror you can get the videos and if you want to see it on your computer you have to remove 
the memory card, SD card, okay? But any question that you have, put in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more video, videos like this one and see you on the next video.